Lisa Unger, and this is The Stranger Inside. Most books start with a germ. It could be anything. You know, it might be a line of poetry, or it could be a news story, or a photograph. And if it then, like, maybe connects with something deeper that's going on with me, then I start to hear a voice, or voices. Um, and those voices lead me through the narrative. I don't have an outline, and I don't know what's going to happen day to day. I don't know who's going to show up or what they're going to do. I just have this kind of faith that the story is there, and I just have to find the story. You've said that there are no real villains. Hmm and that every character, no matter how deranged, deserves a multifaceted portrait that reveals layers. I don't necessarily think that there are any villains or any true heroes in life. I think that there may be villainous moments or heroic moments in maybe everybody's lives. You know, like some of us make good choices all the time and some of us make bad choices all the time and most of us make some combination of good and bad choices most of the time. You were asked when you were going to stop writing about the horrors that happened to women. And I loved your answer, mm. when they stop happening. We do get like sort of this, uh, you know, this conversation, and it's a good conversation to have, is a why are we writing about these things? Why are we exploring these things? And you know, to be frank, most people turn to crime fiction as writers because they're trying to metabolize fear. And I think that readers turn to crime fiction as well for a lot of the same reason. They're also trying to metabolize fear. And there's fear because, you know, the world is chaotic. But within the pages of the book, there will be some kind of justice. Maybe not exactly the justice that you want, but there will be some type of at least poetic justice or some type of resolution where you feel like everything fell into the place where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. And that is not so in the real world. This has been absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh my gosh, thanks for having me. This is a fantastic show. And thank you for watching Word on Words. I'm JT Ellison. Keep reading. The women in my novels, they may have been victimized. They may have experienced trauma or crime, but not one of them is a victim. Every single one of them is somebody who's on the other side of trauma in her way trying to achieve a new normal.